Health live in 3D. Your Viper Radar forecast in high definition. Here's Chief Meteorologist Mike Harvey. Well, we had one last hot and humid day before we have a cold front that's going to arrive and that's going to certainly bring some clouds in tomorrow and an awful lot of rain as we take a look out from the Westminster Canterbury building out towards Cape Henry in the Chesapeake Bay. Looks pretty nice there. Not too many clouds out there and uh, out uh, on the ocean here at the Avalon Fishing Pier. You can see the waves that are starting to pick up today. You can see the winds that are uh, blowing in uh, from the uh, east there. Still plenty of sunshine out at the uh, Avalon Fishing Pier on the uh, outer banks and also at Duck. You can see the waves that are beginning to come in, but Plenty of people out there still enjoying the uh, the day. I'm sure as we get into tomorrow, you definitely gonna want to stay out of the water with the waves that are going to be moving in and the high risk for rip currents that we will see out there. Also, that coastal flood watch that is in effect for the uh, Outer Banks could see some water uh, running up on Highway 12. But right now, we're looking at some showers that are moving in and some thunderstorms that are moving across uh, Hampton Roads. One right now that's moving up towards the Elizabeth City area. And we're going to show you here that it's moving up towards the northeast at about 30 miles per hour. Right now, it's moving through South Mills just to the north of Elizabeth City. Going to be going through Snowden as well as Guinea and uh, Moyoc. And then it's going to move right on up through the uh, Hickory area up towards uh, Pungo as well as Virginia Beach. Possibly a great bridge with these showers that are moving up towards the uh, northeast again at about uh, 30 miles per hour. We have uh, lightning strikes out of these. Also these are beginning to die down a little bit so that's certainly good news but still lightning out of this. So it's a serious storm that is moving up towards the uh, northeast. A little wider view shows you some storms that are moving up towards the uh, west here just on the east side of Interstate 95. Now these are going to be moving up towards the Cortland area and also up towards uh, Franklin. So if you're in this area, you're going to have brief areas of heavy rain that's going to be moving through. You could have some lightning and a little bit of gusty winds associated with these storms that are going to be moving up towards the uh, northeast. So definitely keep that in mind if you have the kids outside right now out around the uh, Cortland area. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's uh, happening as far as our temperatures for today. The highs 92 in Norfolk, 91 Virginia Beach, also up to 92 in Elizabeth City. Some areas had some rain that came through earlier and has knocked their temperatures down like Chesapeake right now at 82 degrees. We're 88 at Norfolk, 87 at Virginia Beach and 82 at Eatontown. But there are some locations that have not seen rain and you add in the humidity and it is stifling out there. 106 is what it feels like in Franklin, 107 in Melfa and 101 in Richmond. So it is definitely very hot and humid out there in all locations. As we head into tomorrow, we're going to have that cold front. It's going to approach. It's going to get much closer to Hampton Roads. Going to give us a much better chance for rain. At 8 a.m., everything looks okay on Saturday morning. But as we go through the day, you can see we will have the rain that will move in at noontime. Areas of heavy rain as we go through the day, that rain will be with us as we go through the afternoon hours and into the evening. We'll even have a chance of some of that rain sticking around through Saturday night into uh, early Sunday morning. And I'm hoping as we get late into the day on Sunday, we'll have a chance of getting some of that rain out of here. You can see maybe some sporadic rain showers about noon on Sunday. We're hoping that front will slide off a little bit further out towards the uh, east and give us a little bit of a break from the rain uh, for the weekend or at least the last part of the uh, weekend. It's going to be very slow moving. It has moved in, stalled again over our area, and is just going to slowly slide off. We can get that front just a little further away. We can actually get some sunshine in here, at least partly cloudy skies, as we get towards the latter part of Sunday. Let's take a look at tonight. We're looking at 80 degrees at midnight. Possibility of a shower round and partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow morning, it'll be mostly cloudy. We'll start off at 76 degrees. High temperature of 87 tomorrow. So I guess the nice thing with the clouds and the rain that's going to be coming in, it certainly will be cooler around Hampton Roads. In your town, here's what you can expect for your high. Kildova Hills at 83. Likewise at Manio, 88 for a Hosky in Eatonton at 87. Looking for a high tomorrow in the 80s for Virginia Beach and Norfolk at 86. Franklin, your high of 88. And Suffolk, a high temperature tomorrow of 87 degrees. And up on the uh, peninsula, looking for a high of 87 Williamsburg, 86 in Newport News. You can see in the mid 80s also for the eastern shore, Wallops Island at 85, Cape Charles at 86, and Melfa at uh, 87. In your live Viper seven day planning forecast, this is what we're heading for on Sunday. Another high temperature of 86 degrees. Maybe those showers in the morning. Hopefully, we'll dry it out by the afternoon. We're going to keep the temperatures right there in the mid 80s all the way into next week and it actually doesn't look too bad. Just a slight chance of showers as we go through the uh, middle part of next week and temperatures.